So here on the engine stand, I have a F22 with 91,000 miles. That's going to be going in the S2000. And over here is an F20 that I bought. It's got a spun bearing. But the price was right, so I picked it up. So what I'm going to be doing is swapping the crank angle sensor and the cam ones. See this valve cover's got one sensor here. This one's got a spot for one here. And another one right here. Alright, here's the valve cover off. See the intake cam, the exhaust one, this is the F22, and here's the F20, see how they're just slightly different, these are the left hand thread as you can see, it even tells you which way to point this. So I only change the exhaust, uh, I guess, whatever you call these, cam angle sensor. Here's the intake one. I left the intake one because they look identical. So the only one I cha I'm changing is this exhaust one. Next, I gotta switch the crank angle sensor. And that should be it. All this has gotta come off, I guess. This, whole, this cover plate, here's a sensor right here. So I had to go out to parts store, advanced auto parts, to pick up this tool for the harmonic dampener. So this thing will fit like that, and then we'll lock that, put a breaker bar there, and stick a 19 millimeter socket, that should do the trick. God damn it. So I got the crank bolt harmonic balancer bolt loose on the F22 I locked it on the engine stand took my breaker bar and added that on there and it was it was still a pain in the ass to break it loose So I got all of the bolts out of uh, the timing chain cover on the block. I made a little template to stay organized. And now it's time to get it off. Fight with the sealant. That's the sensor I need. And the trigger plate that's in here. I need that too. This is what I need right here. This guy. So on the F20 I didn't remove the oil pan to remove this timing chain cover. But on the F22, this is the one that's going in the S2000. 
I am going to remove the oil pan to make insulation easier. Here's the oil pan removed on the AP2 engine, the F22. That's what it looks like with the oil pan removed. Oil pan sitting right there. And next, I gotta get this timing chain cover off. Okay, I got all the bolts out of the chain cover for the F-22. Some sealant right there. So this is the 2006 engine, the AP2. Um, as you can see, the crank position sensor or plate, trigger plate, is slightly different than the the earlier model, the F20. So F20 right here. This is a F22 that I'm swapping. So I'm going to take this out and slap that in. I notice that the sensors are also different. The plugs are different. Here's the timing chain cover. Cleaned it up a bit. All the sealant. There's an o-ring that goes here, in case anyone's wondering. There is the part number. Here's the trigger plate for the crank angle sensor. This is off the F20. I now have it on the F22 engine. So it's now time to close her all up. There's a chain timing cover installed and torqued. I'm using the F22 timing chain cover with the F20 crank angle sensor. And now to the oil pan. Here's the oil pan back on and torqued. Everything's torqued, all these bolts except for the for this one right here. And this pulley. I guess this one gets 181 foot pounds. It's a lot of torque for that bolt. But that's what the manual calls for. Now I just gotta take it to the car in Pennsylvania.